All right, so we've got one piece of plywood on it. I've added a brace in the middle. Now I'm gonna add another brace in the middle of the center section. And um, I actually forgot to get a piece of wood today when I was at the hardware store. And so, uh, well, I'm gonna do one short. I have a bunch of scrap laying around, so we'll see if I got anything laying around that I could use. But let's take a look at what we got here. So I've seen a lot of videos where people do the decking last. Now here's why I think it's better to do it first. When that wood is all screwed down, it will not pull this open. Versus if you were to tie the barrels down first tight, it's going to kind of push these guys open. Now unless you build braces, which is fine, but I'm not building braces. So when that wood is screwed down to these two beams, they can't separate. So then when I pick this entire frame up and put it on my drums, none of this will be bowed. It'll be nice and straight and nice and strong. So I'm gonna add some bracing in here. I also updated this to a two by six instead of a two by four. Um, and we're gonna add some, like I said, we're gonna do some bracing in here because there is gonna be two trolling motors on here. Because once again, I can't put gas on here because of the lake that I'm gonna be putting this on. So I better get to work. <laughs> Juliet, what are we doing? We're building a bouncy pontoon boat and we're gonna put it in the water. Pretty cool, huh? So how is it? Does it feel nice and strong? I'm pretty scared. Walk around on it. Just walk around. I'm pretty scared because... Don't go all the way to the end though, okay? You know those things don't look very safe. Nice and solid. It's not moving at all. Now do me a favor. Jump. Not even moving yep so these drums are not strapped down right now they're just sitting there um like i said don't go all the way to the end okay it's not screwed down it's just kind of sitting here uh, i did this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint and seal this wood uh before we actually strap these barrels and uh that's the next step but as far as today this is how far we've gotten juliet's just testing it out Alright, so instead of going with plywood, I went with some of this leftover pressure-treated fence that I had. And uh, it actually, for being super thin, well, to give you an idea, I'm 200 pounds, and I'm walking on it with no problem. No cracks, no issues at all. So we got an area for a motor and an area for another motor. Now, they're gonna have to be as far in as possible because I don't want it to hit that drum. If the prop hits that drum, it'll probably just break the prop, to tell you the truth. Those drums are pretty strong. But um, it's starting to come together. I'm getting real excited. And then the way I'm gonna run the motor, I mean the controls, is like this. Basically, I'm gonna have a seat right here. It's gonna be a bench and probably a bench and probably a bench. And then a railing to about, you know, maybe there. And then it's going to come this way. This way it gives you a little front area that you can, like, get on and off the boat from. And then, you know, a big awning I want to build up here. If I don't build a, if I don't, like, buy an awning and put on there, I'll just build one from scratch. Um, it would be pretty cool to be able to make it strong enough, too, where you can go on top. <laughs> but anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically have a seat here with a steering wheel. I'm thinking a steering wheel. 
Uh, and then I'll have both trolling motor controls here so I can control the forward, new, uh, the forward and reverse speeds. So both units will be sitting in one spot stationary. And then I'll probably build like a cable setup or something, some kind of linkage where it'll come down the side, I imagine, and go across this way. So when you steer the wheel, it'll turn both motors at the same time, like perfectly in sync with each other, kind of like how windshield wipers are. Um, I was thinking about using maybe an old windshield wash, uh, windshield wiper regulator, because um, that would work perfect for this. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty big boat, uh, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward. I figured I'd make the railing level with this drum. You know what I mean? This way, all the main weight, like when people are on this, are going to be on top of the drums. You know, you'll, you'll, this will just be for, well, you, whenever you, you can go out there too. It's no big deal. But really looking forward to getting this thing out there. You got 14 feet long eight feet wide and let me go show you what kind of trailer i got going on so i got this boat and trailer for 40 bucks the boat is no good so i'm going to cut it up into pieces bring it to my town have them crush it but the trailer is awesome it's an old dump trailer it's definitely not for a boat someone just kind of slapped this thing on it uh trailers tires hold air it has suspension it works just fine uh tongue is good um so it's nice and thin which is great because it'll those wheels will be on the inside of the barrels on the pontoon boat. So all I have to do is basically build a brace that goes across, a brace that goes across, you know, one in the front, one in the back, and then build a V. And I got a two by sixes and then another V over there. And then the pontoon boat will just sit right on top of it like that. We'll have to build a mast that comes off here with a crank winch so that we can crank it on. And that should be just fine. Mm -hmm. 